Spheris Cup number five live from Nantes, France. Semi-final number two is underway. Two more slots are left to be filled up for the grand final where the players are going to be fighting it out for a total prize pool of 2,000 euro. And we have Alexor, Hugo, 220, Dolfold and Massa for the second semi-final here. Two French players, one Belgian and one German are gonna be here and competing for these last two remaining slots. Our first map is gonna be Colanta. So the same map rotation that we had in the first semi-final is gonna be played out here as well. The rule set is gonna be the exact same. Point limit 130 with finalist modes. We are having four rounds per map and the normal point repartition of 10, 6, 4 and 3 for first, second, third and fourth respectively. So in this lineup, I think everyone has what it takes to qualify. The thing that we definitely need to keep an eye out on is how Hugo and Dofault are going to be handling the pressure that is being put on their shoulders, considering the fact that they never attended on a stage before. This is their first LAN event ever in their Trackmania career, while we have Alexor and Massa, who already played 13 times for Massa on a stage before, and for Alexor, I believe it was seven times. So these players bring a lot of experience already, which is going to put them into a significant advantage when it comes to mentality. But uh, at the end of the day, it is still all going to be about daily form, about how the players have warmed up, how they feel about the match. So that is definitely an important factor in this match. GLHF is going to be written. We are going to be beginning with the first map right here. And this one does already incorporate a bunch of these risky shortcuts for those that are not familiar with the spheroscope map pack these maps do involve they do incorporate lucky well not lucky but uh, very risky approaches and shortcuts oh dolphot already with a very very bad beginning into this match making contact with almost the first available wall in this race which is going to be a big setback for him already but yeah as i said the matches are going to be offering the players a couple of uh, risky or safe approaches, for example right here to the left, you can cut the airtime, carry a bit more speed, but you have to go through a very narrow section. Hugo has done it very, very nicely, Massa going up to second place right here, passing Alexor, who made a little mistake on the uphill dirt corner, goes a bit wider onto the blue part here at that exit, but wasn't able to really capitalize on that. So the positions right now looking to be set in stone, but we still have the last shortcut the shortcut out of the looping dropping onto the platform which is going to be very decisive hugo has accumulated a very very good lead that is definitely something that he can work with coming towards the ending massa on p2 and alexor on third this is the landing that you want to get as flat as possible alexor saving it very nicely massa with low speed is alexor gonna pass and he snipes him right in front of the finish line alexor with more speed massa mysteriously losing a lot of speed dropping down to the finish line right there massa losing his second place just in front of the finish line and alexor will of course say merci beaucoup to the six points that he has gotten out of that first point hugo with 10 alexor with six massa with four and dofold with three Massa going for a different line right there. He is the only one that is actually going for this very alternative line right there. But uh, yeah, wasn't really able to capitalize on this. Massa only on third right now. Both French players pulling away. Hugo going for the risky line once again. So does Massa. Alex are taking it easy and you can clearly see how much speed, how much momentum he's losing going onto the dirt part. So that risky approach is certainly worth it. And Massa passing Alexor in the same section here. Once again, he makes a little mistake. And Dofold is struggling to find himself into the match. Another mistake here by the Belgian player. Hugo, in the meantime, goes out wide. Oh, and he clips that platform. That is a block mix into that road. And that is going to be a good opportunity. Now that Hugo made another additional mistake. Crashed into the block mix sculpture. So Hugo from first to last. And a great opportunity for the German player for Team Berlin International Gaming to take his first 10-pointer right here. 109.376, that is a great time here for Massa. Alexor taking second, Dofal taking third, and Hugo with that very weak second half. Two big blunders, only a last place here for him. So Massa now taking over the lead, 14 points for him. 
He is one point ahead of Hugo and then another one point gap down to Alexor who is on third with 12 points. Dofault has made a mistake already. He is definitely feeling the pressure. I can already tell that. He has made a lot of mistakes already in these rounds. A couple of avoidable mistakes as well. So Dofault might need a little bit of time to acclimatize and to get used to playing on stage. He's going wide. Might be a little bit of a wonky landing for him. Oh, Massa! That was uh, definitely not the greatest entry here for a German player, so that will put himself all the way back to last place. Hugo on first, followed by Alexor. And let's see if Hugo is going to be able to avoid the sculptures that he crashed into in the previous round. The drift to the right, looking pretty good here. Here is where you need to avoid clipping the platform, and he does it again! And that is a free ticket to a 10-pointer for Alexor if he survives that uh, ending. And also Dolfault is going to be capitalizing on that mistake that Hugo has done again. Hopefully this is not going to throw him into a tilt situation. Making the same mistake twice in a row. That is going to hurt. The position's looking to be set in stone right there. Alexer 109.6. Dolfault 109.9. Followed by Hugo who takes 4 points. And Massa with 3. Who is going to lose his lead right here. Alexor the new leader of this match right here. 22 points for the M&M player. Then we have a tie for second. Hugo and Massa both having 17 points right now. And Dofold still not too far behind with 13 points. Massa now clipping the wall. Pulled the Dofold right there. Oh, and Dofold pulling another Dofold right there. Almost wasn't able to actually reach the ring checkpoint right there. And Massa, wow, that was a very weird uh, mistake right there. Almost full stopped on the glass part. That looked really, really awkward. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have Alexor and Hugo, the two French players that are gonna be battling it out for that first place. And Hugo, with that superior in uh, entry into the dirt, is gonna get some advantage out of it. But Alexor, with a great, great right-hander on that off-road part, is gonna close in really, really close now. Three hundredths of a second at that checkpoint. This drift gonna be important to keep as much speed as possible. Both going out wide. Hugo avoiding to uh, clip that platform this time around. Also avoids crashing into the block mix sculpture. So it will be decided in the ending right there. Going into the wall magnet. Hugo still accumulating a one-tenth of a lead here. Alexor with a little bit of a wonky landing right there. Hugo releasing a lot though. And Hugo will lose that first place. Oh, he's not quite sure what finish to go for. But Alexor is the player that capitalizes and gets the next 10 points right here. And with that, he is going to extend his lead over his opponents. Alexor with a 110.2. That is a time that you usually don't win round with, but this time around it was enough. Hugo on second, Massa on third, Dofal on fourth. And with that, we are going to go into the next map right here. Map number two, Good Luck SF is going to be... The second map right here with the scores looking as follows. Alexor with 32 points. 9 points already ahead of Hugo220 who has 23 accumulated points after map 1. Massa with 21 and Dofot with 16. So we have 16 points of a difference between 1st and 4th place. Not a lot. Especially bearing in mind that the point limit is 130. So still 100 points that need to be accumulated by the players at least. This map, as you can see, has the jump out of that dirt part and with the goal that you land on the other side of that road, basically cutting off two turns. Normally, if you follow the dirt, you go like this, you take the turn, and then you take this checkpoint. But with the dirt jump, you can just yeet yourself out of this one, land roughly around this area, and continue your journey. And if you keep enough speed, you will actually be able to pass the second shortcut as well, which goes like this. You jump up the platform to the right, jump over the barrier, land on the platform and continue your journey. This is a pretty risky shortcut though and it doesn't really give you a big time advantage. So we will see whether players decide whether it is worth to go for this or not. That is something that players will probably decide depending on their situation. So let's see what is gonna be happening right here. GLHF map number 2 and we are gonna be following Dofold.
Everyone is off to a good start. A little freewheel skip here. Dofault maintaining a lot of grip over that set of transitions. And that will push him up to first place. Hugo in a hot pursuit on second place. Alexor in third and Massa right now with the weakest beginning. Point three behind already. But this dirt jump is going to be important. Who's going to get the best one here? Hugo died. Hugo clipped the pillar midair and also Massa. Didn't really get the greatest landing right there, but at least he survived. Everyone going for the safe strategy. Alexor on second place goes for the safe line. Dofault as well. So this round right now, very, very spread. We can take a look here at the finish entry. We have the last jump over the bubble into the finish. Oh, Dofault going safe. And Alexor seeks the opportunity. And there goes the snipe. There goes the snipe. Massa full stopping in front of the finish block right there. But he's not going to lose anything with that. Alexor saw the opportunity. Maybe he actually played with cars on or with interface on. So that was a very, very good opportunity for Alexor. Not sure why Dofold actually went for the safe finish right there. That cost him four valuable points. Alexor now extending his lead. Three, ten pointers in a row for Alexandre Barbier. The m M&M player right here who already accumulated 42 points. The other three players, as you can see on the left side, you can see the scoreboard there. Only four points between second and fourth. So this match is really, really close. The leader of this match right now on last place. Going into the mid part now. Dofold with low speed going into that drift. And now the jump. Very important to get that right. Massa died. Hugo got it really, really well. And Dofold as well. Dofold might even have enough speed to pass that risky jump. Let's see if he's going to go for it. No, he's not going to go for it. But you can still see the speed advantage that Dofold has gotten out of that first shortcut. A slightly lower, flatter landing right there for Dofold. And that will translate into the speed advantage. We have a fight for first. Dofold, however, has to adjust his line right there. Otherwise, it would have gone into the wall. So Hugo will most likely take first. And that is exactly what is going to happen. Hugo on a very, very good time right there. 55.9. Followed by Dofold, Alexor and Massa with another last place right here. Massa now dropping down to last place in a tie for third with himself and Dofault. So the two French players are leading over the non-French players right now. Alexor with 46 and Hugo has of course been able to capitalize on that previous round. So he came a tiny tad closer. 10 points between first and second place. Round number three on the second map. And everyone is off to a good beginning. Hugo in the lead. Massa on second. He wants to redeem himself for that previous round. That really didn't go all too well for the German player. The jump looking good right there for Hugo. For Dofold. For Massa as well. Hugo touched the wall a little bit later on. That is going to cost him a lot of speed. And Massa is going for the risky jump. Massa is going to go for it. And he makes it. He clips the platform ever so slightly. But he was able to actually maintain a lot of, a lot of speed. But he will get passed by Dofold once again. Due to the speed disadvantage that you simply get from doing the second shortcut. So Dofold will get back that first place right there. Dofold jumping a bit too far right, but so does Massa. The positions are going to be set in stone right there. Dofold will stay on first. Massa on second. Hugo on third and Alex on fourth. Quite an interesting ending to this round. And this was important for both Dofold and Massa. With this round, they have been able to come closer to the players on first and second place, which are Alexor and Hugo220. Last round on Good Luck SF, and then we're gonna move on to the next one here. Dofold struggling a little bit with the grip management there. He did it very well in the previous rounds this time around. He didn't get it all too well right there. And now he's of course risking it for the biscuit. Tries to get as much speed as possible here out of this section to come closer to his opponents that are already 0.8 ahead. Now the shortcut. Dofold's landing looking pretty good here. Landed a bit too much sideways, but everyone has survived this one, and this is going to be very, very exciting. Massa going for the jump once again, and this is looking pretty good here. Very risky line by Big Massa, but that could actually bring him up to that first place that he desperately needs. Hugo coming closer right there, going neck and neck into the final sector. Massa versus Hugo, 220. Who's going to get that last drift back to the last jump over that bubble? Massa's going to get it right there. No, he will not. He clips the uh, wall with his back end just in front of that finish line. And Hugo will snipe by 92 milliseconds 
what an unfortunate ending for the German player. He had it in the bag and <laughs> just a couple of extra... <laughs> wow, what is that horn? Piss off, man. <laughs> it actually wasn't this horn. For some reason, the stream that I had in the background actually played again. Wow. Fantastic. Never mind that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, what a turn of events in the last round. Right here, we have 13 points only in this scoreboard. 13 points tearing first place and last place apart. Anyone can take it right here. We are not even halfway through with Alexor right now being the leader. 53 points. Hugo has had a slightly better map too. He is up to 50 points now, only 3 points short. Dofal with 41 and Massa with 40. So this is definitely not decided yet. Our next map is going to be Wanna Feel Yogurt. Now, I don't know why this map has been called like this. I don't know what this map has to do anything with yogurt. Maybe the mapper has been consuming yogurt while building this map. I have no idea. But this is going to be our third map with a very, very risky shortcut right here. One of the most difficult shortcuts in the Spheres Cup 5 map packs, in my opinion. This is a very, very precise one that can easily go wrong. Hugo is going for it. You saw it right there. It is a jump over a dirt ramp through multiple obstacles mid-air and some pillars at the landing that are narrowing down the landing zone so a very difficult shortcut let's see who's gonna go for it but uh i think this will be highly dependent on the players positions in that specific round going into the first round here and this one's going to be another exciting one. So here is... Uh, this one will be a lot about who's going to take the cut and who's going to take it safe. And from the players that take the cut, who's going to make a mistake? Dofold, making that mistake very early on. Went a bit too tight into that corner. Clips it. Loses time. Hugo with a very, very good lead already. Has accumulated half a second already in the first 25 seconds of the track. Hugo is really risking it for the biscuit right there. Amazing performance by the Exalty player right now. The second place being battled out between Massa and Alexor, who are both not going for the shortcut. Hugo messed it up. And I also saw Alexor, uh, I mean, uh, who was it behind? Dofault, that uh, tried it but wasn't successful at that. Alexor and Massa coming dangerously close. Massa will now capitalize on the mistake by Alexor, who went too wide. Alexor barely making the jump into the finish. And it will be the next 10 points for, Mas uh, for Hugo right here. 50.582 so even with the shortcut that he didn't really get all too well he was still able to take first Hugo up to first 60 points for him Alexor with 57 Massa with 46 and Dofold with 44 so a little bit of a back and forth right there as except expected accepted yeah nice englando mr. streamer <laughs> Some different lines here being taken on the dirt. Massa getting a gear down. That is going to cost him a lot of speed right there. Dofold also going super, super wide. Almost clipped the wall. So Dofold and Massa falling behind a little bit right there. The players that are third and fourth on the scoreboard. Massa is going for the shortcut. So is Dofold. And Massa almost makes it right there. Fully went into the pillars. But Dofold didn't make it at all and had to respawn. Hugo alone in the lead. More than two seconds ahead. The next 10 pointers for Hugo with a fantastic time of 48.250. That is absolutely brilliant. Massa took second and Alexor has actually messed up the finish jump by the looks of it. He is going to drop down to third place and Dofault on last. This round has certainly been all over the place. Big, big gaps between all players. But looking at the difficulty of this shortcut, that is no surprise. Round number three. Two more times. The players have to be squeezing themselves through the shortcut if they wish. Massa with a really aggressive inside line right there. Pushing himself up to first place. That is a really, really good pace. And he needs the first and second places now if he wants to key, uh, if he wants to come back right now. He's already 18 points behind Hugo. And Massa gets that gear down again. Losing two positions within a blink of an eye and clips a wall on the left side. Massa definitely not feeling too comfortable on the dirt right now. 
Hugo versus Alexor. Hugo is going for the shortcut once again. Gets the slowdown. Has to respawn. How unfortunate for Hugo. Who got destroyed by a random slowdown on that dirt ramp. And that will allow Alexor, Dofault and Massa. All three to pass Hugo. The leader of this match so far. All of the others within 1.8 seconds. Alexor taking very important 10 points. And this is pretty much the best scenario for Alexor. Since he took first and Hugo took last. So the point gap of 9 points in total will get diminished to 2 points now since this round will melt the gap down by 7 points 73 for Hugo, 71 for Alexor, 50, 56 for Massa and 53 for Dofault so the top 2 players are crystallizing themselves a bit they are uh, getting away from the remaining 2 players but at this point of course especially with finalist mode in mind a lot can still happen Final round on Yogurt, and then we're gonna go into the next map. Massa going very tight, and once again losing his gear. However, this time around, Hugo not too far away, so we have a nice battle for that first place. Let's take a look at who is gonna go for that shortcut. I'm pretty sure Hugo is gonna go for it. Massa taking it safe. Alexor is gonna go for that jump. Bonks into the pillar, almost flips, but he's able to stabilize, even though he needs to back up. Massa dropping down to third place, since Dofold and Hugo both have actually gotten that shortcut pretty, pretty nicely. So only a third place here for Massa with that safe route. Hugo, 49.5. Dofold, 50.5. Massa, 51.4. Uh, and Alexor taking last. So now the best case scenario is being turned around again. Now it is Hugo that extends his lead by 7 points again. So Alexor's efforts are nullified after that round. We are going on to the next map, ladies and gentlemen. It is the elevator map with the pipe. A really, really difficult map. One of the most difficult ones in the map pack. And here is where potentially a lot can happen. And where Massa and Dofold can certainly make up for a good surprise. Let's take a look here how the players are going to be doing after the warm-up. Beginning here with a little bit of a zigzag through the block mix sculptures. Just want to be precise maintain as much speed as possible now we have a pretty nasty drift to the right right here which can be done using a neo slide a really early neo slide if you are of course a player that can do the neo slide we know that massa has uh, just recently started to practice the neo slide so i'm not sure if he is going to go for that but the neo slide is definitely going to give you a better angle into that right hand corner then we have the elevator which is a respawn checkpoint going onto the pipe which is super, super difficult to get nicely, where you need to keep full control over your car, be aware of weight transfers, be aware of what the car is doing, be aware of how your car is tilting and when it is tilting. So the pipe is incredibly difficult to drive on, especially now with the pressure situation, playing on stage, playing for those last two seats in the grand final. This is definitely easier said than done, and you people at home are going to be like, oh yeah, this is so easy. But believe me or not, this is not easy. So we're gonna go into the next map with Hugo having 83 points, Alexor with 74, Massa with 60 and Dofold with 59. So nothing is decided yet at all. Especially the pipe is gonna be a very decisive factor about this map in case of a respawn. That is gonna be a big, big time loss. So you wanna avoid making a mistake at that point rather be safe than sorry on the pipe that is going to be the motto there and we're going to go into the first set of corners hugo getting the no slide and fully bonks into that uh, checkpoint has to respawn i think he got it though so lucky for hugo that he was at least able to hit that checkpoint Dofold with a very very good lead of half a second already going into the respawn checkpoint now zoop we go up the elevator alexer was able to pass massa right there who is taking it very easy Alex are about to fall off. That was really risky. And we see Dofold falling off the pipe and Massa inheriting that first place. Alex are having to respawn as well. And Massa has a humongous difference right here. He has a big, big gap right there. And that should be the round for Massa. This could be a very important 10 pointer for him. He is 23 points behind the leader in the total scoreboard. This is going to be Massa's round right here. Taking it easy at the finish. Gets another additional slowdown. Little bit of a time loss. But he wins this round with a 108-989.
Second place player will be Dofault. Five whole seconds behind. Six seconds even. Third place will go to Alexor. And Hugo will be dead last. So massive, massive differences here on this map. Not too surprising given the difference uh, that we have seen in the semi-final already. Where we already saw things like this happen. So uh, yeah, great round for Massa. Closing in, 70 points for him. Hugo with 86, still with a comfortable point lead to work with going into round number two. Point limit is 130, so still a long way to go for the players. A lot can happen, especially on this track. Going into the next one. Following Dofault, Masao making a little mistake. And that was a really risky approach by Hugo, who of course wants to redeem himself for that mistake that he has done in the first round. But he makes a mistake in that inside Clips the wall, was a bit too optimistic going into that one. Wasn't able to uh, avoid that wall very well. So he drops down to third place. Massa, a bit far back already. 4.1 seconds. Let's see what's going to happen on the pipe. Dofault falls off. But the rest is surviving it. Alexor didn't have to set up for the Neo Slide. Is not going to go for it. As a result, Hugo did for it and will gain some very valuable time. But he gets a very bad landing on the dirt. Which will allow Alexor to come a little bit closer. He does not go for the ramp cut. Hugo goes for the uh, interesting line at the ending. Which I'm not sure if it's really faster. So let's take a look here with the free camera. Who is going to take it here? Hugo will take first in front of Alexor. And here we see Massa versus Dofold. Dofold has the upper hand. Jumps into the finish very closely. And then there's Massa taking last. Not good for Dofold and Massa at this point of the tournament. They need to get the first and second places because the 10 and 6 points are so, so important in this point repartition. So Hugo and Alexor will extend their lead even further. Hugo now at 96. A first or second place and even a third place is enough to break through the three-digit point barrier in this round. Round number three on this track. Hugo carrying a lot of speed. The more speed you carry here, the harder it is essentially to get that slide around that corner. But everyone seems to have survived it here. Dofault going a bit wide here. Almost made contact with the wall on the outside. Not the greatest exit speed for the Belgian player. Massa on second. Hugo on first. And Hugo going for an additional respawn right there. Because he wasn't lined up properly. Is risking it for the biscuit. He falls. Alexor fell as well. Everyone fell. Everyone fell. Wow. Everyone fell, and I think Dofault just fell again. Massa about to fall as well. Hugo going for the Neo Slide respawn shortcut right there. Not respawn, not respawn, never mind. But with that, he is gonna put himself into a advantage. Hugo in the lead by 1.2 seconds. Then we have Alexor on second, Massa on third, Dofault on fourth. Once again, the positions set in stone not too exciting of a round here coming towards the ending the next 10 points for hugo and he's going to go up to 106 points massa and dofold again not getting the good points and slowly but surely it is starting to look grim for them they need to push it now and they probably know it they probably know they need to risk it now and that's how the mistakes are happening on the pipe because the pipe is so so important to keep all that speed and a tiny misjudgment, a tiny error, and you just fall off into the abyss. Final round of this map, then we're going to go into the next one, which might be good for Dofault and Massa. Dofault struggling here in the beginning, very early on, having made a mistake. Hugo on third, Massa and Alexor leading in front of the French player for Team Exalty right now. Hugo making a big mistake, clips with his back end into that respawn. Why do I keep saying respawn? For fuck's sake. Not respawn, just a checkpoint. It's just a checkpoint. Unbelievable. But yeah, we're going onto the pipe now with Massa. Oh, 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 oh. That was mildly close right there for the German player. But he remains on that second place since Dofault and Hugo are very, very far back. That was really close by Massa to falling off. One, two, three centimeter more far right and he would have fallen off. Alexor about to take his easiest 10 points in his life. That is probably going to be quite a decent time here as well. 107.56. Massa entering the finish line with a bug slide. Dofault on third. 
And Hugo only getting last. So this is good for Alexor. And with this, the map is coming to an end. 26 points between first and third. This is definitely a gap that you can make up. We have seen the craziest comebacks ever in the quarterfinals of the Spheres Cup 5. We have seen that it is possible. But 27 point, 26 points, that is quite difficult, to say the least. We're gonna go on to we, the next map in this second semi-final. Two slots are gonna be given away for the grand final where the players are gonna be fighting it out for 2,000 euro of prize pool. 2,000 euro, 2,000 juicy mulas that are gonna be distributed among the top four players that managed to qualify into the grand final. Hugo looking good with 109, Alexor with a flat 100. So two players passing the three digit barrier right now and they potentially have the chance to also reach finalist mode. The point limit is still 130 points. So perhaps Hugo with a good performance, better than what he just did here in the warm-up, and he could very well reach finalist mode. Let's see what's gonna happen. This is one of the easiest maps though. So both Massa and Default, they certainly have the chance to contest the two French players, Hugo and Alexor. There's not too much bullshit going on. This is more of a pure map. So this could be a good one for everyone. Let's go into the first out of four rounds on Wii. Good beginning for everyone. Alexor uh, oversliding a little bit going into the right hand. There loses a bit of time. And Hugo off to an amazing start, but he goes out too wide and almost fell off the platform. Lucky for him that he was not able, uh, or that he was still able to keep himself on the track without having to respawn. But that is a big setback for Hugo 2020. Dofault in the lead, about to take very important 10 points home because he also wants to defeat Massa in the total scoreboard. Alexor in second, Massa on third. It looks like the posi uh, positions are gonna be set in stone right now. The last dirt ending, everyone is surviving it here. Not too much of a biggie. Dofo takes it in front of Alexor and Massa. Very, very important points for Dofo right here. He is gonna close in by six points to Massa. And a great time on top of that by Dofo. Now only one point between Massa and Dofo. And six points between Hugo and Alexor. Round two. Good beginning for Big Massa. Who's getting an early lead right there. He needs the 10 pointers now. Because the more rounds pass and the more rounds Hugo and Alexor spend on the top positions, the worse for him. Hugo having made a massive mistake right there. Fell behind a lot. Went a bit too tight. Clipped the wall. Alexor on first right now. But he does a 360. No scope right there. Clips the wall. And this is going to be between the third and fourth place player in the total scoreboards. Dofold once again about to defeat his direct opponent, Massa. Dofold seems to be very, very comfortable on this map. Going into the final sector right here. Dofold keeping the speed. Manages to stabilize. Finishes. 48.7 by Dofold, only 6 tenth of a second behind the fastest time by Beat, which is a 48.12. Dofold taking 10, Massa taking 6, and now Dofold will go up to third place in this total scoreboard, passes Massa, and Massa drops down to last place. Not the greatest round for Alexor and Hugo, but they are in a situation where they can afford this for 1, 2, 3 rounds without being in danger by the players behind them. Round 3. Hugo at 115, Alexor at 110. So chances to qualify for a final status are still there for both of these players. But looking at Dofold's pace, that is going to be difficult. Massa with a banger of a beginning. He needs to step it up and he knows that. So this could either go well for Massa or go badly. Because we know Massa's mentality can either go, go big or go home basically. And right now he's trying his best to get those 10 points. Going a bit too tightly into that uh, bowl. 
but stays in front of Dofold. He is about to take those 10 points that he desperately needs in order to get back into the match, to put himself up into the map. Hugo with an overtake on Dofold with an attack attempt at least. Hugo with a lot more speed and Dofold might get snacked by Alexor as well. No, that is not the case. Five thousandths of a second between Dofold and Alexor. That could have been a very, very good situation for Massa if Alexor actually passed Dofold right in front of the finish line. But Massa goes up again into third place. 103 points for him. He is not out yet. And Dofall certainly isn't either. Round four, the final one on this one. And then we're going to go into probably the decisive map. One more chance on we. Dofall touching on the outside. Very risky approach right there. And it did not pay off. Massa in the lead. A little bit of an overslide at the landing. Jumped a bit too far. Might get passed by uh, Alexor in the tube. That is indeed going to be the case. Hugo trailing in the background. Really early landing. But both French players actually get the slowdown at that landing. And this is really good for the German player. Who finds himself in a 0.3 of a second advantage. Into the last third section we go. Massa carrying the speed into it. Alexor tries his best. But it's not going to be enough. He has a bit more speed than Massa. But it's not enough to go for an overtake. Massa taking important 10 points. And with this he is... Slowly but surely creeping back and gets himself a chance to qualify for the grand final. Massa up to 113, Hugo with 125, Alexor 119 and Dolfold also at 103. Not out of this yet. 22 points between first and fourth going into this track. Evolved Drift Mania and this is where decisions are going to be made ladies and gentlemen. No one is out of this yet and now... The more rounds pass, the more pressure will be put onto the shoulders, especially on the players that are maybe not too familiar with this, uh, you know, scene thingy, with the land thingy. But uh, right now, Hugo, who hasn't attended a LAN event before, has been playing out of his mind. So maybe he's just having the mindset of, hey, I'm just going to play my game. I don't give a fuck about the result. I'm happy to have made it here to this point already. And this is maybe a good mental um, advantage in this case already. Maybe this is actually a good thing to not be the Matador, the, the guy that has played like 13 LAN events in the case of Massa. Maybe being the newbie in here, the new guy in class, maybe that's not even a bad thing. Right now, it looks very good for Hugo. Alex are doing a great job as well, Massa as well with a good comeback so far. And also Dofold has not given up. And all of these players have what it takes. We are most likely going to see a finalist very soon. So now we're coming to the situations where we need to start denying some people. And I, of course, as an objective caster, I'm hoping maybe a quadruple finalist. It is possible. And I think chat is hoping for the same thing again. Four more rounds coming up right here. And Alexor left the game. I guess he just can't be ours anymore. Zotp. Alexor left the game. We don't know what is happening right there, but I hope we are not going to have any technical problems. So no one should finish right here. Everyone is aware of it. I think Alexor stood up and is like, ah, oh, putain, my game crashed. You know? So the round will be skipped and Alexor is not back yet. That's going to be a little bit of extra warm-up, so maybe this is not even bad for the players. But seems like no one's really taking this opportunity seriously. As always, with technical difficulties like this, you never really know how much of an impact this is going to have on the player's mentality. Sometimes when you have a break, it really gets you out of the flow. It really breaks your, your uh, focus, sort of. Because you have like one, two minutes, maybe even more of a down of a downtime. While for others it might be a good break to just reset their mindset and just go full all in as soon as the break ends. So yeah, we gotta see how this is gonna pan out. Alexor's game apparently crashed. So this is rather sad. But uh, now everyone is ready to go and we're gonna go into some spicy high octane track minute to stadium gameplay live from Nantes in France. 
round one. Slightly different approaches here for that drift. Hugo going wide for a bit more speed. And of course, Massa being a tech player, he knows how to handle those drifts. Small release to land earlier on the boosters. Alex Sor, a player that has not going for it. And Hugo Airlines pulls off a nice little backflip right there. Don't fall even further behind. So this is very good for Massa once again. Alex Sor in the background. He is 0.4 behind. Makes a little mistake right there. Loses some additional time. So everyone has made a mistake right there. With, uh, except Massa. So this could be another important 10 points. Hugo landing the big jump. So does Dofault. Everyone now entering the second sector of the track. Oh my god! But there's an overtake. Massa has lost his first place after being in the lead by like 0.8 of a second. Alexor has passed Massa. But Massa might have a good angle for that wallbang. The wallbang gives you a flatter angle over that hill. Alexor get passed down to second place. Massa misses the finish almost. Massa almost jumping too far left. But he is able to still somehow bounce into the finish line. Only by 17 hundredths of a second. That was a clutch ending for the German player. But with that, he gets 10 points and is now only 6 points short to take home that first place. Hugo did not get into finalist status. Alex Zero with 125, Massa with 126, uh, 123 and Dolfold with 106. Dolfold falling behind a little bit right here. We might see a triple finalist situation. Massa needs to win, Alex Zero needs second, Hugo needs third. Or just finish, basically. And then we're gonna have a triple finalist situation on this map in round three. Alex are in the lead. Dofol on second. Massa on third. Hugo, nowhere to be seen. 1.1 seconds behind right now. Dofol, having made a mistake right there, gets passed by Hugo, who gets the inside line through the checkpoint triangle. Massa in the lead. Alex are in second. Hugo on third. This is exactly what I have been foreseeing right here what is happening are we gonna see a triple finalist mode right here hugo now trying to attack alexor dofold also wants, wants to have a saying right here dofold goes out wide loses out on some time hugo's trying to attack right there hugo with the left side pillar approach hugo with a bit more speed hugo has the upper hand right there and with that he is gonna deny that triple finalist situation but massa will take first with an amazing time of 10367 massa will be finalist right here alexor will Will have the slap in the face 129 and we have a double say uh, double finalist situation between Hugo 2020 from Team Exalty from France and Big Massa from Germany first finalist chance for those two players Alex or needs to finish and he is a finalist as well the pressure is very very high right now great comeback by Massa he is on a roll and he has the Opportunity to close it out right here. He has the momentum. Alex are falling behind a little bit. Hugo 220 taking over the lead. Gets a lot of speed out of that right drift. Massa with a slightly different approach. And we see Dolfold already falling behind a little bit right here. Alex are trying to attack. Makes a mistake on the straight. Gets passed by Dolfold who goes up to third place. Massa with a bit more speed going onto the jump right now. Hugo 220 still having a little bit of an advantage to work with. Going onto the landing right now. The landing zone. Both of the players carrying equal speed through it. Hugo with very little speed. Massa going for the overtake right there. Massa is going to pass it right here. Going into the left-hander, into the right-hander. Hugo, Hugo going out wide. And now the last jump. Hugo once again with the left side approach. Hugo might have it in the pocket right here. Massa, unless Hugo makes a, f makes a mistake right there. He is going to have it right there. And Hugo will qualify himself for the grand final of the Spheres Cup 5. 103.13. What a sick time right here by Hugo to close it out. Hugo knows no pressure at all. He was just busting out the best match time that we've seen so far in this incredibly clutch situation. Alexor and Massa now in finalist. Massa with the second finalist attempt and Alexor with the first one right here. This could be the final round of the match unless Dofold manages to, cl manages to clutch out the first place right here. He gets a lot of speed out of this one. Alexor makes a mistake in the hairpin and that might be the early GG for Alexor. Dofold on first place. Massa trying to go all in right now. Massa versus Dofold right here. The fight for first place. Dofold the only player that can deny the German player right here. Big Massa needs to bust it out here in the second half of the track right now. Dofold goes for the safe drift. Massa going for the wall bank. But that was really well executed by Dofold. Who remains in the lead right now. And he has more than 0.3. Maybe 0.4 of an advantage to work with right here. 
0.32 right now. Dolfold with a really, really aggressive inside line. Is he gonna deny it? He makes a mistake! He makes a mistake and Massa might receive the free ticket into the grand final right here. Massa passing Dolfold. He, who even falls down to third place. Massa just needs to survive the finish one. And Big Massa qualifies himself for the grand final with this 103.734 GG to Massa who joins Hugo220, Gwen and Soldier for the grand final of this Ferris Cup 5. Unbelievable ending to this match once again. Commiserations to Alexor and Dofault who have been putting up an amazing fight. All of these players had what it takes to qualify and at the end of the day the player that just managed his nerves the best was the one that was victorious at the end of the day. GG to the players that qualified and best of luck in the grand final. GG.